Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, September 6, 2012. Well, the change of trend today and the candle has made a higher high and a higher low and a very, very dramatic trading day, a very large white body candle with a solid breakout up above this uh, congestion area that I highlighted previously. Uh, we spoke about this yesterday, this falling wedge, and as I mentioned, falling wedges in an uptrend tend to be continuation patterns. We have had confirmation of that today with the breakout and the close above. Very important that we have the close above or below the patterns for confirmation. But we've also had a bullish close above, and that does suggest that this trend that the market was in prior to the congestion area that we've seen form over the previous few months, or sorry, pre previous few weeks, is likely to continue to the upside. Now this market has done a lot of work all at once and previously we saw all of this indecisive trading and the testing down to the 1400 round number support, very very strong support there, but we had very strong resistance overhead at the 1415 and I did mention that if we did break out above or below those moves they could be quite explosive uh, because of the very strong uh, uh, support and resistance around those areas. So here we have seen this close up above and we can um, form a, a target with uh, the wedge patterns. They, they, we use the measured move uh, method for these targets. It's a little bit different with triangles where we use the width of the uh, pattern. Um, in this case we use the uh, extent of the trend leading into the pattern. Now it's debatable uh, whether we use the second time frame uptrend that the market was in or just the first time frame. If we use the first time frame we had a continuous uptrend until the market uh, traded up to the uh, roughly about the 1430 level and that gives us a target up around the 1460 uh, area and we'll see that that's uh, quite important when we move forward and look at some of the Fibonacci levels. So that's the roughly the extent from there to there, not quite exact, but roughly up around the 1460 level. If we look at the uh, the trend beginning from down around the 1266, it's, it gives us a much larger target. But I think the one that we probably should be looking at using is this first time frame at least, and that will be a more conservative target for this market. Now, um, as I've said, uh, the buyers uh, have taken very strong control of this market for the trading day today, a very large white body candle, and they've shown very strong commitment and by taking out these two levels of 1415, 1422, and then this major swing high up around the 1426, 1427 area to close up at 1432. The market will be interacting with very important um, resistance of 1440 and we'll see in a minute that that is a confluence with the Fibonacci techniques as well so it will be a very very strong barrier to this market but as we can see uh, there isn't any major resistance for this market between 1440 and 1523 so we could have very very extensive move up to 1523 if the buyers can maintain the momentum to the upside. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension we're examining the current first time frame uptrend now that the market's trending up uh, to the previous time the market was trending up and we took out all of the levels below the 100% took that out, took out the 161.8% in one move and the next target that we have here is the 261.8% at 1438 coincides roughly with that uh, resistance around 1440. Um, the uh, extent of this move today and the fact that we've taken out all of these Fibonacci ratios does look as though the market's done a little bit too much work all of a sudden and it wouldn't surprise to see the market uh, relax to a degree and find some resistance around this 1440 and uh, 1438 level, this 261.8% level. Just looking at the Fibonacci retracement of the prior downtrend, it was only a one bar downtrend but uh, we've seen the market take out all of the levels uh, below 100% through the 161.8% and the next target that we have is the 261.8% at 439 so we can see how roughly around that 1440 level of resistance based on the peaks and troughs from the past that that is a very very important level for this market moving forward. Now in terms of Ichimoku, a bullish market in all three time frames now and uh, 
Uh, as mentioned previously, the market was trading above the cloud and above the Kijuns and the pink line here to give us a bullish market in the long term time frame and the medium term time frame. And now a bullish market in the short term time frame by trading above the Tenkan Sen. And I mentioned previously that even though the market was trading below the Tenkan Sen, uh, the extent of the uh, of follow through past the Tenkan Sen was not great. Uh, the market tested down to this 1400 uh, support and uh, really didn't trade down through there and then was uh, retracing back towards the Tenkan Sen and finding resistance there. And now today, quite a change of character in this market with the uh, market taking out the Tenkan Sen to give us a bullish market in the short term time frame. Now, all of those uh, Ichimoku indicators have been confirmed by the Chikaspan trading above the corresponding price action, so uh, giving us a very, very strongly bullish market in all three time frames. So moving forward tomorrow, the bulls are totally in control of this market at the moment. In the short term time frame, because we've had this congestion area, we've had this very solid move, and a lot of this testing uh, up through these, um, to these uh, important resistance levels at 14, 15, 14, 22. Um, it wouldn't surprise to see the market hold up around the 14, 40 level. It's a confluence of the Fibonacci ratios as well. Uh, if the market does come off, I'd expect that um, we could come off and find support down around one of these levels and then even perhaps trade up above. And uh, um, in the long term, there is a very good possibility that the market may end up trading up to around the 15, 23 level. We won't do it uh, in, a, in a hurry. But uh, certainly the 1440 level is a target very uh, shortly for the next few days. And then that 1460 level where we had some Fibonacci levels is uh, another target if we do trade up through the 1440 level over the next couple of days.